Hey there folks, Mark Johnson from TechSnob. I'm going to do an update on the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. This is the uh, Verizon model. Uh, this is going to get it to 4.12. So let's see if we can successfully pull it down. In settings, we go to About Phone and Software Update. And we're going to... Okay, here. So it's already there, uh, queued up for me. Um, download fail, blah, blah, blah. So there's a lot of improvements um, to this update. So let's check it again, see if we can download it. And some of quick things about it. So, first of all, it's 246 megabytes. Uh, it's pretty big there. And it's got some nice, uh, nice features on it. So now you'll be able to, you know, access some downloaded languages on the Samsung keyboard, ring back tones from Verizon. But the main things I'm excited about is the multi window, um, which should definitely be really cool. You'll have a lot more options for it. And then also a lot of other fixes, even. Uh, the Isis mobile wallet, which is pretty much a competitor to Google wallet. That's going to be enabled now as well. So I'll see if we can get a chance to test that out somewhere. So it's going to do the download. Uh, we'll be back after it gets downloaded and installed and we'll kind of go through some of the new features. Okay, we're back. We got everything uh, updated on the uh, Note 2 Verizon model. Now, a few quick things to start off. Um, one of the first things I've noticed First of all, let's go into the about just to verify the version number. And as you can see, it is down, uh, it is up to 4.12, the latest that you can get on this device for Verizon. And then another thing, what we've noticed, if you hold down the back button, um, this is the multi window uh, support. And what you also have now in the bottom left, if you hit edit, you actually get more options now. You can choose Gmail, YouTube. So if I pick YouTube, I could drag that down or Chrome. So pretty cool. I have a lot more options now. Um, very reminiscent of the Galaxy Note 8.0. So if I take YouTube, for instance, and drag it out, I actually won't do it in this menu. Once we have it in here, we're done. And then now we go to YouTube, we drag it out. It's one part of it there. And then let's say if we take Go back to the internet and drag it. So now we have uh, two ways, you know, more options actually you can use with the multi window, which is great. Another thing outside of some security updates is using the keyboard. Actually, that's pretty cool. Where right? I'll cut off multi window real quick. But when we go back into internet and we go to the the browser bar, at the bottom you can choose. Um, more languages by swiping left and right at the bottom before you couldn't do that in the Samsung keyboard. So those are a few of the updates. There's also the ISIS mobile wallet. Um, I did try using it. Unfortunately, you, it looks to appears to be for Verizon. You need a NFC SIM and it's not available in every area yet. So it's not available in my area, but there's the ISIS wallet. Um, so I'm getting you know phone not supported so forth. I believe it's available in like Austin, Texas, a few other areas um, in the states. And other than that, that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, enhanced Wi-Fi. Um, you know, a lot of Verizon apps like VZ Navigator, wireless backup. You know, and there's a lot of little patches and so forth. I'll put the full change log up on the blog. Be sure to check out the site tech-snobs.com for more coverage. Thanks for watching. Take care.